Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 1877. 1877. It's been a while since I've done the show that's called Mike's Daily Podcast. And I know I have to defend this band because it's been with me for a long time. I have sung songs, and some of them sometimes even uh, rhyme. With the other words that are in the song I'm not that good of a podcaster I just feel that I belong On the internet with the show And I've been doing it, what, 10 years? Mike's Daily Podcast I've been podcasting 10 years at least Hey, you can go to Mike'sDailyPodcast.com And go all the way back Mike's In the archives Daily To 2009 Podcast And that's when I first said Yeah These words German travel tips, what the heck? I've been waiting for a very, very long time to go back to Germany. You see, I have relatives there on my mom's side, and I have been wanting to go back with my wife of almost five years and my mom of, well, my entire life. Yeah, she will sort of be the interpreter, but she is also someone whom I think Germany is not the same without. I went back 22 years ago with a friend of mine, and he and I had fun, but mom adds a different dimension. She's a tour guide and a, well, mom all in one. That's the first thing I wrote. On, I used to have this uh, it's, Okay, so Twitter was going on And I opened an account on Twitter Back then Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm so loud Apparently my volume has been extremely loud at The beginning of this show And I apologize Alright, I toned it down a tad I'm, I'm, a, I'm my own producer What can I tell you? So I go to Germany with my mom and my then wife And we, uh, yeah, let's see, we had been married five, almost five years at that point Wow And so, yes, so my mom and I and the ex-wife now We went to Germany And oh yes, there was that little issue in the beginning And here's today's podcast Picture. It's not of Germany, but of this lovely lady right here. Hi, my. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? I'm doing good, thanks. There's a rodeo going on. Yes, the Rowell Ranch Rodeo Grounds today. Another rodeo. I saw something going on as I was riding Bart into work. Thank you so much, Benita. Don't mention it. You know, in Germany... So you can see that podcast picture with Benita the Rodeo Queen. We haven't had her up in a while, so she is on today's podcast picture. Okay. And I haven't done a podcast in a while because I get home and I'm so tired and just deflated. Deflated. Deflator mouse. I'm deflated because of just my job. Basil. It just sucks stuff out of me. People say stupid things. I'm sorry. But there are some people. Yeah, when you talk with this accent, you immediately deduct IQ points. That's directly from Jeff Foxworthy, who said that. But yeah, I guess lately it's just been one thing after another. And I get home. And I got to walk Basil, which we don't walk very far. But there's usually some involvement with Basil. And then I have dinner and I'm just too tired. And I don't want to deal with this. This thing I'm doing. That I've been doing for like 10 years. I want to just sit down. Oh! Oh! My gosh! We haven't talked in a while, have we? Oh my gosh, I forgot the big thing. Anyway... Cafe Anyway, where we are at Cafe Anyway, somewhere at the last place on earth in Podcaster Valley, Tun today. I get, I just, I sit there and lately we've watched a couple of interesting things. What did we, we got the Grand Design Show, which I talk about on my show tomorrow when I am on from 6 to noon on KKDV. Listen to my show. You can catch it online at kkdv.com. It's DV as in Diablo Valley. And we're playing a lot more 80s now So listen to me Sunday mornings from 6am to noon So I get home And there's just You know You want to turn on the idiot box That's what we used to call it 
the idiot box, the boob tube, and watch the Netflix. And Grand Designs is this awesome show that they could not do in America because they take sometimes two to three years to film an episode. They meet a group, you know, someone who wants to do some amazing house, and they go and check in on them. They they usually the owner says yeah we'll have this done in a year and it two years later three years later they're still working on it or something's happening and the results are fantastic either they don't finish it which is fantastic in its own way but then also they or they do and it's fantastic so I watched this thing uh, with my lovely lady friend and what else have we watched I think I told you a little bit about that what's that show with the, in Monterey Big Little Lies. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies Tell me lies, tell me, tell me lies And then I just, I, I don't want to do this I just don't want to do this at night I would do this every single day Because that is the name of the show, Mike's Daily Podcast But I'm being honest with you The, the, the job And then also, to some extent, the fact That my dog is getting up there Plus I want to spend some time With my lovely lady friend And it just doesn't happen anymore And I want to have her on the show But the last time she was on the show She suddenly got cold feet Or cold tongue Or whatever you call it When you get you just can't talk When, you're, when the microphones are on I've never had that problem That's why I'm in radio And been in radio for over 30 years Blah 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 blah, blah. But yeah Because I talk Blah 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 Mike talks that's where you can find me on Facebook and Twitter At Mike Talks And I couldn't get at Mike Talks on Instagram Even though I got on Instagram years ago Because some idiot already had it So you can find me on Instagram At Mike's Daily Podcast Okay Alabama Here's the deal I may or may not own property in Alabama I may or may not own a residence in Alabama Maybe, maybe not because I lived in Alabama for a while That part is true And someone may or may not have been renting from me And someone may or may not have just decided to skip on their rent And leave the house And turn off all the power and water And just leave Something that could have happened, possibly And it could have taken possibly every ounce of my time last week That could have been something that actually happened as we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcast for Valleyton. And you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com, the picture of cafe anyway. Anyway. It could have happened, this, everything that I just mentioned. And that I'm dealing with Alabama from all the way over in California. That could possibly be the case. Which is not easy to do, my friend. Not easy to do. But it made me think a lot about Possibly if this thing did or did not happen Let's just say hypothetically it did I sometimes think about Alabama This part is true I think about it and about living there again Because the traffic is crazy in the Bay Area The taxes are crazy in the Bay Area The Bay Area is crazy in the Bay Area But there's lots to do here there are so many sports teams you can see. I work with a guy all week long. He was going to see women's tennis live in San Jose and not just like a couple old ladies hitting the ball. Marge, I'm serving. Here we go. Boop. I'm going to return the ball, Edna. Boop. Thanks, Marge. Boop. That's the sound of the ball hitting the racket. Boop. Boop. What'd you think about that, Benita? That was funny. Thank you, Benina. How's, N- how's Nellie doing? She's fine. She'll eat basil. Okay, we don't want that to happen. But yeah, what happened is the the so. By the way, my property manager that I may or may not have is in her eighties. She's in her eighties. God love her. Gosh, she's an inspiration. Okay, may or may not be so. Back to being deflated No, back to the whole the, the Watching, binging sh- Awful shows No Back to insomnia God, I hate insomnia Oh Someone I know is experiencing insomnia right now And it's ju- it just depletes you Because 
You need the sleep And sleep deprivation is how they made people Do horrible things in the past And reveal important secrets And all I can say is The only way I've ever been able to de- to Beat insomnia Is to There's something wrong in my life That I have to fix That I have to get over And, and I, I see that in this person's life They got this big project they're working on But also You just gotta get the heck away from caffeine And you've got to go through a whole day Where you don't take a nap Or anything You just power through it And then when you're really really tired You go to bed That's the issue Is a lot of I And I know exactly what is keeping her awake Is the fact that she's got a smartphone near her At all times And that will The light from a smartphone And the information And the fact that your brain is going I have access to this information Whenever I want That is what keeps you awake It keeps you stirring Because there are times this week Where I woke up And I started thinking about things That may or may not be happening in Alabama I don't know And stuff happening at work And I just We can't get to sleep And then my dog had an issue A couple issues this week Where things were flying out of him And that, you know Keeps, wakes you up And I gotta clean stuff up And then I can't get back to sleep Well, anyway Cafe anyway That's Anyway That's a lot Hey, I talked to Jarrell from Jarrell Name recently He wants to be back on the show We'll see if that happens Because Our schedules sometimes don't line up But he wants to be back So we'll try to have him back on the show at some point And did we cover it all The amazing houses That people spend years on That we wouldn't be able to do that show in America Oh And then what Kevin Spacey read a poem Last night He's been He disappeared for all those years Because there were sexual harassment Charges against him From a man And he disappeared And he got kicked off a house of cards And now he's back apparently Doing poems And then there's uh, Jim Carrey Having issues I guess he's in that new Sonic the Hedgehog movie And Sonic looks different now And people are up in arms about that Oh well And and what else Ed Sheeran The guy, the, the, the ginge He beat U2 Beat their record for the biggest selling Tour of all time Okay, that's where we are Did I depress you? Did I make you happy? Are you an Ed Sheeran fan? Are you a fan of the podcast? You can call me 336-MM-DAILY That's 336-MM-DAILY Would love to hear from you And if, if, if this is a show you would like to actually see me do daily Please let me know So there's somebody I know who does an internet radio station And he has a specific format First off, if I ever had a radio station It would not be a format It would not be a specific Music He does big band music If you want to listen to it, Swing Street Radio is the name of his station Swingstreetradio.org Is where you can find it online If I did a station It would be totally eclectic That's why I love K-Pig And this guy, by the way, does not like K-Pig He doesn't understand K-Pig K-Pig Oh, K-Big, oh god I hate K-Big In LA That station always just made my skin crawl And it was one of those stations I wanted to work at When I was growing up in Southern California But I couldn't because Well, they only hired people that Had a specific voice You're listening to K-Pig K-Big K-Pig would probably hire me they would be they, they, They're okay with all kinds of different voices And I love the music on K-Pig That's a fun place to be To listen to We can, care, we, we can uh, listen to it on the AM signal That they have up here at 1510 And my lovely lady friend Who is driving my car one day to pick me up And she's listening to A song on K-Pig About A girl who finds a cat And nurses the cat back to health And then the cat stays with her Her whole life And even at one point Drops a hint that she should Dump her boyfriend Because he's going to be an idiot And he was an idiot And she dumps him And then the cat consoles her Well the cat dies 
And it's a really sad part of the song And so I can't think of the girl's name But she That My lovely lady friend said I like K-Fig They gotta See and the thing is It's an eclectic station But they pretty much Have a specific It's sort of a singer songwriter um, Based format And I like that But you might like Something more specific Something more like Okay Only big band music So the big band music guy He likes to talk a lot about his station And then he will talk about my podcast And, 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 you know, it's I don't, this is an eclectic podcast Is it about, is it about uh, what, What the heck do they do podcasts about these days? Oh, it's the whole news Let's talk about the newest Marvel movie Let's talk about the new season of Yeah, no I'm Kevin Smith, I'm fat You know, I don't want to talk about comic book stuff But I may do that on this show I don't want to talk about money But I may do that on this show I want to talk about health and things in life Maybe, I don't know And that's what this podcast is about Is bringing you a little bit of an escape from your life And telling you to put the freaking phone away at night And get quiet And get calm And turn things off And you gotta You gotta do a ritual You can't just be all Go, 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 go Email, 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 email I gotta go to bed Text, 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 text I gotta go to bed Nope, that ain't gonna happen You gotta do it gradually Gotta turn off gradually See, it's a health podcast I've helped you out today Next show Oh, by the way There are people out here We didn't say hi to them so we should probably say hi to them And also say hi To that Oh The Germany trip Wrapping that up very quickly uh, So we we were living in Alabama at the time And we met up with my mom In Atlanta, Georgia However, we were a day late Because the flight from Huntsville to Atlanta got canceled because the uh, the weather in Atlanta at Hartfield is that what it is Hartfield Airport is atrocious sometimes planes can't land it's bad there in Georgia just gets nuts so we couldn't land because of the but thankfully uh, my mom they put my mom in a hotel and so we were able to reconvene the next day so we had a day taken off the trip which sucked to germany a day from our german trip was gone and then however the airline did bump us up to first class so we flew from georgia to germany to frankfurt germany in first class it was amazing oh those richy rich people Yes, they're smart and they should always be first class. Everyone should get to do first class at least once. It's just fantastic. So it was a great trip. One thing I learned was that the the meat, Fleischkäse, stay away from it. It makes no sense. The American stomach cannot handle it. German stomach, maybe they're, they're born and raised on that stuff. We, we can't process it. It just gets, clogs up our intestines. It's bad. Don't. That's our. That's the Germans' Montezuma's revenge. Is the Fleischkäse. So stay away from that when you're in Germany. But it was a wonderful trip, and you can see that the little blog post, that my first blog post on Twitter, which my first Twitter account was Mike asks what the heck. That was my Twitter at Mike asks what the heck, which m- entirely too long, and shortened it to at Mike talks. And I'm done talking now. Right after I say hi to this person. Hello, Michael Myers. It's Mother Rudebega. And that was a long story. Ooh. And this is Valentino, the parenting attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, there's a lot of bicycles parked here. Yeah, packed. Do you know that? Thanks, guys. Yes, people are bicycling more than driving, so you're out of a job. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere, the engineer. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at 
mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.